Recent developments? Uh, the LS3 would be the newest piece we have. LS3, huh? Ago. Okay. So what can you tell me about this? It looks like it's got a much bigger intake valve in it. It's a 2165 valve on the intake. A uh, 1600 exhaust valve. It's a 260cc intake runner. Goes around uh, 385 on the intake. We could scan your thing. It's available in the uh, four bolt or six bolt. Oh, nice. Okay, for the LSX block? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So we have a block. Yeah. They're uh, pack springs. They're good to like 650 lift. 150 pounds of seat pressure. Uh, you know, all quality parts fully seat supported. We made uh, right at, just, just did a uh, lay on head and uh, cam swap. We made 591 horsepower. Wow. A small cam too, it wasn't a big cam. I don't know the specs off the top of my head. Yeah. Yeah, I went from a so th this head definitely flows better than a stock LS7 head, huh? Oh yeah, definitely better. Than yeah, LS7, much better than an LS3 head, of course. Okay. Uh, we're doing some uh, testing when we get back. We're going to offer a uh, stage one, two, and three cam. You know, and then we're going to test it. We're going to let the consumer know that it has the stage one cam has 20 inches of vacuum, has you know 120 thousand fifths in about. This would be right on a stock. You're putting on a stock, you know. Okay. You know, six two. And then we'll do the stage two and tell you how much vacuum, how, what it idles at, how much piston to valve. And the stage three will probably get down to 50, 60 thousand piston to valve, which is a little tight. Yeah, yeah. And we'll have a horsepower number for all of those. And here, here's a recipe. This head, this cam, here's what you make. Okay. Are you guys working on anything for the new uh, LT engines? We've talked about it. We actually bought a couple from GM just to kind of look at them, and you know we have it in our you know uh, engineering you know room, and, and our our new product committees talked about it. Yeah. Um, not this year. We have something else in mind for 2018, but possibly you know 2019, 2020. You know, it's still pretty new, and it's not in a, a, yeah. a boatload of vehicles yet. Right. You know, right. Just I think this is the first year for Camaros. Yeah, I think Camaro, Corvette, and uh, some trucks. Some trucks have it too. Okay. I believe and with that, not, not exactly positive. With that direct injection, that's probably going to be a big challenge too. I mean, well, never. They, they, yeah, they say you don't really change the combustion chamber shape or designs, but some people are. So yeah, there's a lot of R and D on that one too. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, I think eventually you'll see that will happen. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because then, I mean, the diesels have been using it forever, so right. I wonder if with those injectors, you could use the ones the diesel they're using, or... Yeah, I don't know any of that. We haven't got any, we haven't done Yeah, because obviously, you know, what you, once you mix the stock injector out, you got to get different ones, and with those, I know they're right. really expensive, high-precision stuff, right. so... Right, yeah. You do any, um, canted valve, uh, small block Ford heads? No, we don't. No, no, no 351 Cleveland or any, okay. No, no, just gotcha. an inline, you know, 20 degree winter okay. style hit. Yeah, I remember about five years ago, I was looking at buying a 5 all Mustang, and I'd done a bunch of research, you know, on cylinder heads, and a AFR, was, I'd always heard that one's the best, uh -huh. although you guys are kind of pricey. So in, in the end, I was going to go with uh, twisted wedge heads from uh, <clears throat> Trick Flow, whoever it was. Yep. But, yeah. Well, they, their, their CNC ported one is similarly priced as ours, but yeah. they have an ass cast version that's not ported, that's less money. Oh, okay. And that's so, so you have to be careful that you know you're comparing apples to apples. We're yeah. pretty competitively priced if you're comparing apples to apples. I very almost dollar to dollar the same. Uh -huh. But the TFS is a good piece, you know. That's yeah, also a good yeah. piece. So. Those would be your two choices, whatever you decide. Yeah. But get the CNC ported one, unless your budget really doesn't allow it. Yeah. Which, yeah. You know, you're, you're picking up another 30, 40 horsepower, you know, to get the ported version. Right. And, and I'm sure there's some gains too, just by it being smoothed out, you know, before uh, really. before the injector. No, I know you need the atomization, but no, okay. 
No, you're not going to find anything if you hard you know, polish that and get it smooth. Really? No. Okay. <clears throat> Pretty much the chamber and the exhaust port carbon up within a thousand miles. Yeah. You know, carbon on them. The intake port, there's theories that it likes a little bit, like you're saying, the atomization. Yeah. They call it the boundary layer. You have it, you know, this is the, the CNC. And now the air is only hitting here, here, and here. It's not touching these low points. Right. So, you know, it's all a lot of theory. So, uh, but, uh, yeah. That's what you guys are, airflow research. So I'm sure you got the, the tools and stuff to yeah. test it. So. Yeah. Okay. Hey, well, good talking to you. Thanks and good luck. Cathedral ports? Come again. Cathedral ports.